Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video. Uh, so a couple weeks ago I showed you guys my live gigging rig um, using the supersonic and the bigger board. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys my smaller rig and this is one that I use for like band practice uh, if I'm doing like a church gig or if I've got uh, if we're playing like a venue uh, that's maybe a little smaller and we don't have as much room to work with um, and it's pretty much a scaled down version of my bigger rig, okay? So, it's pretty simple. Uh, first, I want to talk about the board that I'm using. And it is an on-stage pedal board. I think they run for about uh, $50, somewhere in that area. Um, and then I'm using a True Tone uh, one-spot combo daisy chain to power all of the pedals on the board. Uh, the amp that I'm using is my Fender Pro Junior. Uh, it's an older model. Uh, you know, it's just got the volume and the tone knob, which is really cool. They sound great. Um, they're a great pedal platform amp, and they're 15 watts. They're allowed 15 watts. Um, and I've got the tone up almost all the way on this amp, okay? So it's a pretty cool sounding little amp, a little 10-inch speaker in it. Uh, I got it off of my uncle, the same uncle that I got the Les Paul from. Um, so the pedals that we're running on this rig, uh, we've got a Snark tuner, okay? And I really like this tuner. Uh, it's got a nice big display on it. Um, I wish that I had known about it when I was ordering my second TC electronic polytune for my studio board. Uh, because I would have went with this one. It's a lot cheaper, and it's built really well, it's really durable, and it's got a nice big screen on it. Now, for this rig, uh, normally you know that I like to use the overdrive and the amps, and I like to control everything with my volume knob. Well, with this rig, uh, there's no effects loop in the amp, so I kind of, you know, since I still have wet effects and everything, I, I don't really like running them into an overdriven amp, so I'm basically using the Pro Junior as a power amp, and the preamp section, we'll call it, is coming from a Nobles ODR-1. Now, I have never had a Nobles before, uh, and I started building this board kind of like as a backup, um, but it kind of took on a whole new purpose with this like smaller clubs and everything kind of rig. And I'd never had a Nobles before, and I really, really like it. It's become just about my favorite overdrive pedal. It sounds really great, and I just I see why all of the Nashville guys really gravitate towards this pedal. Uh, for the delay, I'm using one of my favorite pedals. It's a TC Electronic Flashback. And what I like about this pedal is you hold down the foot switch, and you can set the tempo by strumming your strings. Okay, so. On my other two boards, my studio board and my uh, gigging, my main gigging board, I have two delay pedals on each, and the reason for that is I have one for slapback and one for a longer delay that I use the tap tempo. Well, on those tap tempo pedals, I can't set my foot fast enough for a slapback kind of sound. Um, so that's kind of why I have both pedals on each of my two bigger boards. So. With the flashback, I can just hold it down and I can create that, you know, fast kind of slapback sound. So that works really well. And, of course, it works really well for longer delay stuff as well. Uh, and then last thing in the chain is this Joyo Space Verb. Uh, I've had this for quite a while. It's been on pretty much every board that I've built. And I really like it. It's got three different uh, reverb settings on it. Um, I'm using the hall setting, and the other cool thing about this pedal is you open and close it, so you don't step on any of your settings and it doesn't get messed up or anything. Okay, so let me give you guys a couple of uh, samples of what this board sounds like. Um, actually, first what we'll do is we'll turn everything off and I'll let you guys hear the amp. Uh, today I'm mic'd up with a Sennheiser E609. Uh, this is what I use live, so I didn't want to run it into the two notes today. Um, so here's what it sounds like, just the amp and the guitar.
Okay, so it's pretty clean. It's got a little bit of breakup to it. Um, now, let's go ahead and turn on the nobles. And uh, I've got it set nearly about unity with the amp volume. Um, and it rolls off on the guitar really nice. Now, the other thing that I do want to say is if I'm in like a practice situation or a smaller gig situation like this, um, I will just take the Telecaster because it's kind of, in my mind, it's kind of a mix of the Strat and the Les Paul, which is what I take normally for a full-out uh, gig. So, uh, it cleans up really nice. Here's the Tele volume at about 60% uh, of the way up. This is where it cleans up nice for me. Now I'm going to turn on the Joy of Space Verb. This is pretty much on all the time. I like a lot of reverb, um, and the amount of reverb that I like, it sounds great for when I'm down here sitting around, you know, practicing or whatever. Um, but once you get into a band setting, it's not as prominent, so it works out well. I like to hear a lot when I'm just playing by myself, and then you don't hear as much when you're in a full band setting. So it sounds like this. Let's go ahead and turn the guitar up about three quarters of the way, maybe a little past that. That's about where my crunch uh, overdrive sound is. some delay to it and I think it's set uh, I keep it set on the quarter note setting so it sounds like this I'll turn up the delay level a little bit So there you guys have it. That is pretty much my uh, live for smaller gigs kind of rig and practice rig and everything. Now, the, um, the other use that I have for this rig, let me show you here. I got a new toy a couple weeks ago. And uh, this was the reason why I bought the Pro Junior Amp. I bought me a little lap steel guitar. And it's a lot of fun. I'm trying to learn it. Um, been watching videos on YouTube on how to learn and everything, and um, it's just been a heck of a lot of fun. That sound is just so classic. It sounds so cool. Of course, I wanted to learn it for... Uh,
So yeah, it's a work in progress. Uh, been working on that. So, anyways, thank you guys for checking out this video. And if you haven't already, if you're enjoying the videos, please be sure. Ah, I can't talk. Please be sure to go down to the corner there and hit that subscribe button. Get the bell on. All that good stuff. I appreciate it, guys. And we'll see you next time for another guitar lesson. Um, have a good one. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and please be sure to get the bell on. It lets you guys know every time that I release new guitar and music related content. I appreciate you guys very much and we'll see you next time.